Good day doodlers, welcome to Draw Cartoons. If you want to learn how to draw the fast and easy way, this is the place to be. I've got a surprisingly easy tutorial for you today. We're learning how to draw a witch and this tutorial isn't going to be quite as wicked as it first seems. Throw us a like on the video if you enjoy it, and as always you're going to need a pencil, paper, an eraser and a sharpie to go over your sketch with. Let's go! Let's get started. But first, if you want to learn to draw the fast and easy way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Let's begin! Now starting very gently with your pencil, I want you to draw a small circle um, fairly close to the top of your page but not quite at the top because you need some room for the hat. And then once you've drawn that circle, just cut it down the middle like that. Now if at any, at any point I'm going too fast, uh, feel free to slow down the video or pause it to catch up. I'm just used to drawing very, very quickly. So we'll start with the witch's face. So we're going to have a big pointy nose, big crooked nose coming out here. And it curves down, comes back up, and then closes in on the circle there. And if you want to add a nostril here, you can add just kind of like a little S shape there. And there you go. And let's not forget that very characteristic wart on the very, very tip of the nose there. Okay, so right next to this, in this area, we're going to draw an eye. So I'm going to give her a very wicked expression. So I'm going to start with a big eyebrow that's frowning like this. And off the edge of that eyebrow, I'm going to curve down and close it off for the bottom of the eye. And you can draw her pupil facing forward if you want. You can have it pointing upwards. I'm going to have mine pointing backwards, like she's flying away from something mischievous that she's done over there. Who knows what she's been up to. And then just underneath this eye, I'm going to add a few lines here for wrinkles. And simple as that, she already looks very old and haggard. It's crazy what just a couple of lines can do. So now we'll draw the mouth, and you can really exaggerate this if you want. So carrying on from the bottom of the nose, I'm going to dip out just a little bit for the lip. And then I'm going to come way up here and curve into a cheek. And then head it off with a small line to show the crease of the smile like that. And then underneath it, I'm going to draw the bottom lip. I'm going to swing way down out of my guideline. Bring it out for a lip like that, and then a big pointy chin. And that chin, I'm not going to take it any, well, I'm going to take it slightly further than my guideline. See how I close it in just here? And that's why that guideline is useful. It keeps the face on this side of the circle. Okay, so uh, feel free to add a few teeth here, maybe a few missing teeth. In other words, just don't draw the teeth there. <laughs> Um, so we'll move on to drawing her hat now. So I think a good way to draw her hat is with a little bit of tilt to give it some character. So start over here and draw a line that grazes right through the top of that circular guideline that we initially drew. Once you've drawn that, we'll draw another line that just crescents over it like this. And that's the brim of the hat already drawn in there. So now we'll draw the very, very top of the hat. So what I like to do, I like to give this a bit of a fold to give it a character again. So starting here, we want to keep this uh, about as wide as the head is. So I'll start there, bring it up, and then I'll bring it down. And then I'm going to flick it up at the back here. There we go, just like that. And then I'm going to come down towards the brim, stop as I swing it back towards the middle. Maybe give it a little crease here, just a little line added in underneath that part of the hat. And then obviously I need to just finish it off by bringing it in towards the brim. Let's just tidy that up over there as well. So our head's already looking pretty good. So I think a good place to go next is the hair because the hair is very flowing because she's uh, mid flight, she's flying around. And if we draw the hair first, there's lots underneath the hair that we won't have to draw because the hair will kind of be in the way. So that's just a tip for making this easy. So let's, let's just do the front first. I'm gonna do a little swirly bend of hair there. I have done a tutorial on how to draw hair which I will link there right now for your perusal whenever you want. Um, but it's just a case of doing various swishes and flicks, just like Professor Flitwick from Harry Potter tells you to do that. Flish, uh, flit and wick, wait, wait, <laughs> I mean flick and swish. There we go, I got it right the first time. Um, lots of swishy little shapes with the hair. Okay, so coming off the back here, again, just a little flick at the back. Give it another one underneath, why not? So you can go kind of crazy with this, make it look very messy, because I don't think a lot of witches take too good care of their hair, to be honest. I don't know a single witch that owns a comb, um, so feel free to go a bit messy with this. You can add layers here as well if you want, add a few flicky bits of hair there, just to make it look 3D, make it look like it's really sticking out. Look how effective that is, straight away. So the head of our witch, at this point, uh, that's pretty much done. So I say, let's go ahead and draw an arm. So the arm, we're just going to draw a guideline for the arm first. Coming out underneath the head here, I'm going to draw a line that curves just slightly and goes past the nose in terms of width. 
It's going all the way over here, and that's where the hand is going to be. Now, before we draw any more of this arm, I think it's a good idea to draw where the broom is going to be. And all we have to do for that is a quick guideline. So I suggest that your broom needs to start over here, this is the front of the broom, way off to the side over here. Make sure it passes just underneath that guideline, because that's where the hand is going to be. And that broom needs to be close to the hand, otherwise she's not going to be able to hold onto it, and she's going to fall right off. And then just continue that line until you get more or less just past where your hair ends. You see that? Just past that. I've ended mine there. Uh, now we'll draw the rest of the broom later, but it's just good to have that shape in place. So now we'll tackle the arm. So we can draw either side of our guideline here, the shoulder and then the end of the sleeve here. And when I get that far, I'm going to cut across my guideline like that and flick it out into a few spikes of ripped clothing before going back up, just using my guideline as a guide here, thicken it out about uh, around the uh, shoulder area, just kind of bringing it out a little bit here. And there you go, you've got a nice little sleeve there, a bit of a curve in the middle just to show you where the, uh, where the bend in the arm is. Okay, so now we'll draw the hand grasping the handle of the broom. Uh, this is easier said than done, but if you follow this uh, step by step, you'll definitely get the hang of it. So, I'm going to start pretty much smack bang in the middle of this sleeve here, okay? I'm going to bring a line down, and then it ends in a bump that flicks up at the end. And then there's another one right next to this. And then there's a third one, just like the other two, comes up to about here. Doesn't go quite all the way to the sleeve because I want to come out here and I want to add a thumb that's going to be resting on top of my broom like that. Really, really effective. Looks really, really good straight away. So make sure you get that thumb just kind of resting on that on that broom there. Okay, so with the arm in place, we can actually kind of just quickly draw in the body now. Now the body is really, really simple. It's just a case of getting those kind of curves right. Because she's wearing a dress, um, we can obscure a lot of the features of her body and turn it into a really simple drawing. So what I like to do, I like to start here behind my hair. We can start by curving down and then back towards the back of the broom. This is her butt. Okay, so curve it across the guideline for the broom and then end about here, just pointing down a little bit. Do you see that? When you get that far, you want to start again a bit before you finished and then bring this right out. This is the end of her dress now, so you can really drag this out, rip it a little bit, give it a few spikes here, make it look like it's been really worn down. Very, very wicked appearance we're going for here. And I'm going to bring it back up and just going to curve the knees behind the hand there, okay? No crossover, the hand needs to be resting quite nicely on that broom, so just curve the knees up before you reach that hand. And obviously we need to draw the rest of the legs, so we'll just tuck in there, and all we have to do is just draw a couple of lines for the torso. So you can just go up here, and then bring it back out here, just under the shoulder there. Okay, and oh, she is missing an arm, so we can just draw that arm in this gap here and imply that it's holding another part of the broom just back there. That's it, we don't have to worry about that arm anymore. So you got this far, all we have to do now is draw the broom, and really, I'd say that's the, that's the easy slash fun bit. So to do that, what I recommend is you start underneath this thumb here, and you just use your guideline to design your broom. So I'm going to give mine a bit of a, a thick end like that before it thins out again and tucks in within that hand. Make sure the broom sits not, uh, not on these knuckles, but just inside, if you can see that. You want to make it so it looks like it's going inside the hand there. And then just do the same with this little bit of broom here, poking out between the knees and the hand. And then the back of the broom. So I'm just going to follow my guideline back. Ignore all this, you don't need this anymore. That was just a guide. Um, but I'm just going to draw this here thicken it out a bit, that's it. And when you get to about the end of your guideline here, you want to draw a small box. Simple as that, just a little box like that. And then just draw a few lines down it like that, one, two, maybe three lines down it. And that forms kind of like a tie that's going to be holding the actual brush of the broom in place. So speaking of the brush of the broom, uh, broom rather, we can, uh, we can draw that in right now. So I think it's easier to draw a big kind of wedge shape coming out of this. Very, very simple simple to start with anyway. So it's very, very thin at this end and really, really thick and bushy at this side. And then you can add all those fun little details. So just outside of it, you can add a small fleck there and another one there, just a few bristles, just kind of sticking out. There we go. I'm not going to overdo it. And then at this side, I'm going to make this really kind of rigid and uneven. So I'm going to draw lines that just kind of poke in from time to time, some longer, some shorter. Okay. Maybe you want to go all the way down with some of them like this. 
and maybe it's more effective if you draw a few lines along the broom like this just to show yep there's definitely bristles going down this broom it's not just a big solid shape okay so lots of overlap there as you can see it's kind of gone over the cape there or the dress rather um, but it doesn't really matter um, little overlap like that can really give your drawing character so that's it that's our sketch of our witch actually already done you can add a few warts to a face if you want I guess I'll add a few more here just just add a bit of character that, that word character is coming up a lot today um, and yeah so get your sharpie and go over your sketch and make sure you raise the sketch after you've gone over it with your sharpie and you'll end up with your very own awesome drawing, very, very spooky drawing, of a witch just in time for Halloween. And there you go. What a wicked drawing, if I do say so myself. What a magical feeling to have drawn that. Don't worry, I've got witch puns for days. I can keep going if you like. <laughs> I'd love to see your drawings over on the Draw Cartoons Discord, by the way. You can share any drawings at all, not just Halloween stuff, any tips and any video ideas whenever you want, and absolutely everyone is welcome. Just scroll down, hit the Discord link, and that's it. Welcome to the Discord Doodlers. And thanks again for watching. Make sure you drop me a like, it helps me a lot, and subscribe if you want to keep learning to draw the fast and easy way. Until next time.